Hello again. Long time no see. Let's talk about iPhone 15 Pro Max for video and my SSD solutions. I mean, with the Blackmagic camera app, you can shoot ProRes, LT, or even H.265 Apple Lock on the internal memory, but yeah, that could get full quite quickly. So I tested a few SSD options. The first one is quite small. This is the nice little Samsung SSD. It's not an SSD, it's a flash drive, which basically connects straight into your phone. Keep in mind with a case like that, it's a bit tricky. So I thought, well, I saw quite a few videos from iPhoneendo, I have a link below, and Michael Tobin. And they talked about the SSD and memory uh, solutions. And Michael had something like this. And this goes straight onto your phone. If I connect this there, I basically have a small lightweight solution. Now, keep in mind, this is a bit slow. This little USB-C memory stick thingy uh, is a bit slow. So if you use the camera app from Apple, the iPhone camera app, you only can shoot ProS HQ and you might get drop frames, especially at the end of a clip, usually with fast movement and stuff like that, you get dropped frames. But I tested it with the Blackmagic camera app and used ProS LT, which has lower bit rates and also the H.265 worked great, no issues there. It is nice on a gimbal or just out of your pocket this works fine it's quite secure no issues there the other solution is to have this samsung t7 and put a magsafe magnet on the back which almost fits fine and then basically have the same angled connector and get one of those little thingies i have links to all that below basically this is your cable and since everything kind of connects quite strongly, you could connect this to the SSD and then with the MagSafe and the case, in this case, <laughs> it is quite secure. It, it really feels solid. So yeah, this is also quite nice. Don't have any cables or whatever. I will test this with the small rig and newer cage system that was just announced and will be delivered in the next few days, hopefully, if this works with that, because it might be a bit too big. But I think this solution is quite nice for that. I really like this. Now I have two terabytes and this should work quite well if needed. So that is nice. If you have a smaller SSD like the Crucial X9, this might be a bit too small to have a magnet on there. But the solution for that is getting one of those MagSafe wallet thingies that is like elastic. I put a different magnet here as well just to have it upside down basically because usually it connects like this but then the opening is on the wrong side so the cable goes the other way which doesn't work so what i do is put this ssd in here it's quite secure in there fits nicely something like that so for that i actually have to use the cable but as you can see, this is not the best solution with the cable there. Um, don't like it, but it works. I mean, yeah. But for most cases, this works just fine for me. I even got the DJI Osmo Mobile SE, which isn't the best gimbal for the iPhone because of the construction of the arm. The movement sometimes is a bit odd, but this is the quickest and most easy way to just put the phone on there, turn it on, and it works for just a little bit more stability. Anyways, that's it for now for my SSD or memory stick solution for the iPhone 15 Pro. 
Max. I have links to everything below. Uh, let me know if I missed something or what solution you use and yeah, we will talk about it. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you're new around here, subscribe and then see you in the next one. Back to work. <laughs>